Hello everybody, this is Tango. Welcome back to Breaking Bites, the series where I write a custom ridiculous mod for each and every episode just for our amusement. And today, as you can see and hear, we are going to be playing with some audio. Audio, audio, audio. <laughs> what I've got here is a real-time waveform analysis of my microphone input. And it's pretty cool. The louder I talk, the higher the snowballs will go. And the softer I talk, the lower they will go. <laughs> now, as one can imagine, I have been making a complete fool of myself with the sound effects I've been throwing at this thing just to see what it would look like. But fear not, I will spare you from that horrible embarrassment. And we're going to move it right along to the next bit. This is the first and by far the simplest of the real-time analytics we're going to be doing in this video. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so while seeing my voice move some snowballs around was pretty interesting, I got to say. The real stuff comes into play when we start analyzing music. So what I'm going to show you next is a representation of something called a fast Fourier transform, or an FFT for short. And what that does is break up an audio track into separate distinct bands based on these short frequency ranges. And for each one of those frequency bands, we're going to be able to measure a distinct audio level and graph it. So, well, you know what? To be honest, none of that's really going to make sense until you just see it in action. So here we go with our first song. All right, this next demo is a little more complicated. It's still using the fast Fourier transforms we used in the last one, but this one is going to group those frequency bands together and then space the groups apart logarithmically. And then for each of those groups, it's going to take the average within the group. I know, I know, I gotcha. What does all that really mean? It's all a bunch of hoo -ah, right? I know. What it really is saying is this, okay? For this one, we're going to see much more compact waveforms that supposedly more closely resembles how humans perceive sound, which, if you think about it, is pretty interesting. And for this demo here, I also added a kind of flowing history with the waveform, which you'll see. And it, it takes the two-dimensional graph, that, like the one you're seeing in front of you, and transforms it into a full three-dimensional representation of the music. So let's check it out.
Oh man, that makes me smile every time I watch it. I had so much fun getting that to work. All right, guys, I have one more musical demo for you today. And up until now, I haven't really involved the actual game Minecraft at all. I've pretty much been just using Minecraft as a rendering tool. So we're going to change that for this last one. I figure for this one, I should call in the experts. And by that, I mean the dance experts. Here we go. Beat 